welcome back to another path to a key yes um i got the two marvel superhero crowd back from cgc recently put up for sales and they are in the process of being sold so i went on ebay and do some browsing and i found myself some good candidates so right here as you can see about this x-men looking pretty decent nothing major as far as flaws on the front cover right corner look decent small corner crease this look like an inch or so crease right below the X the spine that's where the worst problem is look like a lot of little well not little plenty of spine takes there now the back cover is where the problem could be look like there is a two inch plus corner crease right there right could be bigger but at least two inch from my estimate a little bit dirty nothing major can easily be cleaned up but yeah i think the book is is um at least a five okay from the picture it's all depend on what that corner look like on the on the back okay the back corner crease depending on how severe um, and how I can clean that up. It could be a little bit higher, maybe 5.5, but at least a five. And this is not gonna be a double. I think if it's a 5.5, it's gonna be a solid single. Okay, since eBay do away with uh, showing you the best offer price for full, full disclosure, I can show you that I paid two sixty, okay, plus five dollars shipping. So the cost of this book, the X Men Twelve, is two sixty five. Okay, so here's the second book, a little bit dicier. Bigger risk, bigger reward. Okay, so this one here, free shipping. I tap on the two forty nine fifty. Um, the price was really good, and the book looked decent, but there's no back cover. Okay, the, the, the there's no back cover to this book. Pretty much all the picture look the same, except for this one. You get a little bit closer look, and you, I can see one or two, like two spine tick, but the corner look really clean. Okay, hard to tell from the picture. Super hard to tell. Look like there might be a little abrasion on that right there. A little rub right there on the right edge, right? But all the other pictures, not all that useful. Okay, no back cover pictures. So, yeah, like this, look at this one. Really nice right there. See, you see the twos? Well, it's like very two or three very light spine tick and then one big one, well, not big, but visible right there by the trapezoid of green lantern bottom corner look pretty decent as well so yeah you know i saw this listing and i said to myself do i want to contact the seller ask for back cover pictures but the price is so good and it's for free 30 days return so i said to myself what the heck if there's something huge some kind of big flaws on the back cover i can return it but I don't want to risk contacting the seller and then wait for him to get back to me and then somebody else buy the book, right? Item is very clean. Um, so why not? Let's roll the dice and see if it turned out to be something like, hey, I don't want to guess what the grade can be until I see the back cover. But this is one of those books that can be a triple if not a home run, okay? We'll see. Okay, so you saw the two listing. I actually bought the Green Lantern earlier, but it was shipped media mail. And then the X-Men I bought, as you can see, August 22nd, and both books arrived on the same day. There you go. Let's unbox real quick. You know me, not a big fan of the vanilla envelope, but it is what it is. I can feel the sturdiness in this cardboard in here. Okay. Oh, 
look like a book is loose it's in a one of those stiff mylar thing but my pet one of my pet peeves is people shipping books with cardboard that is not taped to the cardboard yes this stiff mylar is pretty good at protecting the book but still um, I always recommend taping the book to the mylar so it doesn't shift in the envelope so here you go uh, this book if you uh, saw the ad or the listing on eBay it was purchased the previous owner bought it from incognito the incognito comics from the UK so let's take a look how it made it ways back to the US right so you don't see many people buy books from the UK because shipping cost is so high so pretty good okay so as you can see no shenanigans here no switching books you can see it's just like the picture in the listing the majority of the wear is at the spine there's a light crease right there and then the back yeah the crease on the back doesn't look bad you know it's one of those things where I think you can see it right there you can see that right there I need to take a closer look but I think if I clean it, okay, you can see. If I clean it, of course, need some pressing. Maybe it's not as visible. Yeah. What do you think? 5.5? Five, five? Yeah. Maybe um, depend on how I edit this video. I might do a quick before and after picture a clip of this after I clean and press so that you can see. You know, I used to shoot the video with me buying the book, another video with me getting the book, and then maybe another video of me uh, of, of the books after I clean and press it. But that I got enough videos, so I'm trying to condense everything in one video. Um, so yeah, I like it. What do you think? Let me know what you think. But I think I got myself maybe not a double. Okay, maybe not a double, but I think it's gonna be a solid single. Yeah. Now I'm more excited about the other book. Yeah, the Green Lantern. Now, what did I, did I just lose my mind? Oh, jeez. I put it right on my table here. I was like, I was looking on the floor, like, okay, so here we go. Getting old and senile. Okay. Look like there is a. It's very tight. There's an envelope within an envelope. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's cut this open. packaging I like here we go I'm excited okay when I bought this book you know most gambler will tell you it is exciting all right More tape to cut. I always debate whether I should do all of this before I shoot the video or turn on the camera, but 
for the sake of authenticity. <laughs> Here we go. Let me remove the, all this excess tape. You know me, keep the tape far away from the book. It's some kind of saran wrap. What the heck is going on here? Not sure what that was all about, but oh, beautiful, beautiful. I think I got myself a winner. Here we go. Here we go. Uh huh. Of course, the back cover, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> of course I would have to give it a more thorough review and let's check for restoration and all that but oh my <laughs> okay it's the same book because you can see the one spine tick right there by the trapezoid of Green Lantern. Hopefully it will show up on camera. Oh, right here. It's right here. Right there. Okay, right there. And then, and then you got the abrasion. Can you see the abrasion? Yeah. Right there. On the right edge of the cover, front cover, right? Right there. So, Yeah, and then now that you know the book is out of the bag, sure, where the abrasion is, you can see there's a light little band like like hangover band right there. So I gotta be very careful. One of the the trick of pressing is that you want, you know, sometimes you don't want the hangover to be fixed to be straight out because they make the crease more visible. But yeah. All right. Um, oh, let me show you the back cover. Clean. It's dirty. Not very dirty, but you can see all the corners. Yeah. Not a crease anywhere. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Depend on what's going on right here on the right edge. This is a... Eight five, yeah, eight five. Might be even nine zero, oh, yeah. Could be a home run, right? But, ooh, yeah, baby, yeah. Winning, winning, baby. I'm excited. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's a close up of the two books. Right there is that the. Uh, like crease overhang that I'm talking about that's gonna keep it I think out of the nine okay for sure when um, I press the book I make sure that I you know straighten out this little ripple right here so that it's nice and even so that when I press it it will look a lot better and you will see whenever you see an edge that is jagged like that it's best to you know use a q-tip or something to align the little tiny rips or tear correctly so that when the press come down it doesn't make it look worse okay so that's one of the tip a simple tip that you should uh, use but the rest of the book as you can see very nice there's one spine tick right there That's like a, a dot of light foxing right there. Okay, it's not uh, a, a 
it's not a um, stain, but that's foxing right there. So I think 8.5, very doable right here. The back is super clean. It's, it's for its major flaws. It can use the cleaning, no doubt, okay? As you can see, good thing there is no foxing back here. There's only one little dot of foxing. Now, let's take a look at this book. Pretty nice, huh? There you go. Sure, a press can make it look nicer, but it's color breaking, so it's about an inch and a half right there but there's a corner inch and then the rest is pretty good right sure there's a re little reading crease here but overall very nice back cover this is what I was talking about see this we'll see how it will look after I clean But yeah, for now, I, I still stick by, I think 5.5 .5 is very, very doable. Okay, after a press and clean of both books, here they are. Let's take a look at the Green Lantern right there. Let me see if you can see it where, as you can see, it looks better, right? Because... Uh, there's less white showing, right? But not bad. It's nicer, cleaner looking, but the rest of the book, not much to improve, okay? I still think 8.5 easy. You know, the light foxing right there, not a big deal. Back cover, they need a whole lot of pressing. In fact, I didn't really press the back cover. It's one of those situations where I cleaned the back cover a little bit. I pressed the front and then voila. Now this one needed some more uh, help. Not much to do with the spine, right? With all the flaws there. Um, and then you can see, okay, that inch and a half inch and a quarter crease not much to do the corner crease not much to do there back cover require more cleaning as you can see look pretty good right there right yeah and you can still see see this is like a light color break breaking Break the fiber a little bit, and it's nothing I can do about that. Okay, I clean it to make it less visible, but you can see at the back, it's not really. It's one of those weird flaw that I'm not sure how it does not show up on the back cover. You can see, but yet it is there. Okay, so very light. You can see there, yeah. So that's a wild card, okay? To me, it's, that's the wild card on how CGC look at that. But even with that, it's a light crease, color breaking crease with this one right here. Easy 5.5, five, right? Easy. I don't think anybody would disagree that this is an easy 5.5. Five. Can it be a 6? We'll find out. And that's it. Time for me to get ready to uh, do the paperwork to ship both books to CGC. Hell yeah. Winning, baby.